everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I do not have any makeup on my face. That's because I figured I would show you my everyday kind of makeup what I do. And just kind of like talk through it. Um, just a little thing I do want to say before we start. I'm not a makeup artist. I have learned everything from the internet. Um, I just really like makeup and I might not do everything right, but this is just what I do. So let's get into this. So I've already gone through my skincare routine for the day, which means I've already cleansed and moisturized and done all that. So we're just going to go right in with the primer. And so I always use Benefit's Professional Primer. It is my favorite. Uh, I just use my hands to apply it. If I'm looking in this way, it's because I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror today. So I just like to go in with my hands. I feel like it works a little bit better. Um, that's just my, my opinion, though. So next, I actually go in with my concealer, and it's the NYX, what is it? Gotcha Covered. It's a really full coverage concealer. So I actually do this first because in the summer I use a BB cream. It's easier to blend if I do it first. So again, I'm using my hands. Um, I always wash my hands before I do my makeup, obviously. Um, but I start just really getting that dark, the dark, dark covered. And I just use my ring finger too because it is the lightest one to touch your face with. You know, you don't want to like drag your skin everywhere and you want to be really gentle. And then I actually am going to cover up a really bad trouble spot right here. So we're going to get that too. So next I go in with my BB cream and I've recently been using the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream in the, uh, and I am 110 light to medium. Um, just goes great with my skin. It's more of like a dewy finish um, compared to the pure. It has more of a matte finish is what I figured out. And uh, this just works really great on my skin. I've had super sensitive skin recently, so yeah. And I just put it on the back of my hand. Like that. And then I use my damp beauty blender and I go in and you know how to apply foundation hopefully. And basically I just blend it all over my face like you would, you know, any foundation or BB cream. So now that that is all blended in, I'm actually going to go into a little bit more concealer because the spots quit showing through. And my skin's just super reactive recently. So I'm going to touch it up a little bit more. And I'm going to be using my Born This Way concealer in the shade Fair. I'm actually almost out of this. I love it. I'm going to get that, and I think my under eye area is pretty good. I'm just going to go just a little bit to, you know, even everything out. And down the bridge of my nose, which is way darker than my face, by the way. <laughs> and then, once again, we're going to blend that out. So now that that is all blended out, we're going to go in with my Translucent Loose Powder by NYX, and it's their Studio Photogenic HD. Um loose translucent powder. Almost out of this too. So now we're just going to kind of bake it. So I do that under my eyes and then a little bit on my jawline and down the, um, I get really oily in the center of my face. So we're going to bake for a little bit. Oh, I can't make facial expressions or else I'm going to crease. So while I bake my under eyes and my jawline, I actually go in with NYC's smooth, what is it, smooth skin bronzing face powder. Um, I'm almost out of this. I have majorly hit pan, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm out, because I cannot find NYC anywhere. <sighs> I really loved this. I'm just going to do a light contour and just kind of, like, bronze up my face, because my shoulders are really, really, really tan. Also, don't worry about how harsh it is. I blend it in with the rest of my extra powder when I'm done baking. Looks a little scary, huh? <laughs> so I also let that sit while my under eyes are baking. And then I'm going to go into my brows. Which, bear with me on my brows. I might have to step away and just show you what I'm getting. Because I have, I need a better mirror than the viewfinder. So the three products I use on my brows are the spoolie. Just the spoolie brush from e.l.f. Um, my Anastasia brow is in the color taupe. And then just a NYX brow gel in the color blonde. Alright, brows are done, so now we're going to blend everything, and we're done baking. So, oh, I smiled still, though. <laughs> so next, we're going to go with my Clinique Soft Plush Blush in the color New Clover. 
next I'm going to go in with just a base color and we're going to start on my eyes. And I'm just using the Brulee um, Wet n Wild little eyeshadow base. I'm also just going to use my finger for that. Um, it works great. So next for my eyes I'm going to go in with my Luna um, Jace eyeshadow. Eyeshadow in the color Jace. Wow, I can talk today. And I'm just going to pack that down on my lid. Bear with me here. I'm using the mirror because I cannot see that that close. I can't even see in my mirror. It's so dirty. I like that this is a very buildable color. Uh, you can either do a little or a lot depending on the um, how deep you want it. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I just really like this color and how you can either have it really light or really dark depending on whatever you want. So I'm mixing tons of palettes for this look, so I'm actually going to go in with my Naked 2 palette now. And we're going to take the color Tease on a fluffy, fluff, uh, on a fluffy brush. So I'm just going to... Again, I'm going to use my mirror. And we're just going to start defining my crease a little bit. I do the pink first, or else the color payoff's just not as good. So next I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, and we're going to go in my uh, outer V, inner, whatever you call it, with the color Whiskey, which is right here. It's just a really nice matte brown color. Really will define my eye a little bit. So as you can see, I've got a little more definition going. We're going to do the same on the other eye. So now using the same smoky palette, I'm just going to take the color, what's it called? High right here, and I'm just going to go with my inner corner and pat in a little bit of a highlight and take my upper brow bone. Oh, that was way too much. There we go. Saved it. Now we're going to blend and blend and blend. So using my big fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to blend this whole look out. So now we're all blended, and so I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then use my pure magnetic charged, what is it called, fully charged magnetic mascara. Love this. Came in an Ipsy box, and I've been obsessed. But again, I can't do that on camera because curling your eyelashes in this tiny thing is not, it's not safe, guys. <laughs> all right, so eyelashes are done. I just used my mascara, like I said. Now I'm going to go in with the same highlight I used on my inner corner and brow bone. And I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. my nose and my cupid's bow. So now I'm just gonna set my whole face using my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. Isn't it like... Yeah, it's just the chill, cooling and hydrating setting spray. Shake it up a bit. Shake, shake, shake it up. Okay, sorry. I love how that feels, especially in the summer, but it's just an amazing setting spray. Highly recommend this one. And finally, I'm going to use my lipstick to finish off the look. And I'm using Verve Velvet, Vi Verve Violet by CoverGirl. And I just really like the color, especially with the pink. So, it's not as frosty as it looks on camera, I promise. Here's my finalized look. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, especially if you want me to do more tutorials in the future. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And as always, I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>